Hi guys, welcome back or to my channel. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to go straight into the video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly wash or care for your units. This is going to be a 360 unit, but this method also works with bundles. And I'm just showing you guys the condition of the hair right now. It looks so crazy and it's dirty. I've had this hair in for a little less than a month. And, you know, it's time for it to get washed because we can't have dirty stinking units all up in our hair so the first thing that you want to do is get your materials ready and i'm going to be using the shimmer light shampoo to wash the hair of course and also i'm going to be using the silicone mix to revive the hair and lastly i'm going to be using this um suave conditioner to detangle the hair and also you also want to get um a bowl with water to mix all the um, items in it so yeah I'm just gonna go straight in with the shimmer light shampoo I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there mixed with the silicone mix I don't know why I said silicone in the first part but yeah I'm gonna mix that in there as well and I just kind of put however I feel like I need based on how thick the hair or the bundles are that's how much you're gonna use so I just pretty much use to um, hand tip fulls, <laughs> um, finger tip fulls rather. And lastly, you want to follow that with your conditioner and just put a little bit of that in there. And I like to just mix everything together just so I know that, you know, it's all blended in. And yeah, and I set that to the sides just to kind of work together do whatever they're doing in the water <laughs> and i'm just showing you guys the condition of the hair again it looks so crazy um yeah so the first thing that you want to do or the second thing that you want to do is start by detangling the hair and i always start from the bottom up because you don't want to get um rather you don't want to lose a lot of hair so i always advise you guys to start from the bottom up and that's what i'm doing right now we're just combing out the hair and sorry y'all, I'm in my panties, but we're all ladies, hopefully. And yeah, so after you detangle the hair, you want to get a tub. I say get a tub. <laughs> a tub or a sink could work fine, but you want to fill a tub or a sink with, not, with hot water. Or, you know, not too hot, but hot enough. And yeah, I'm just feeling for that. Make sure that your tub is clean or your sink is clean, by the way. And I'm just going to pour in that mixture into the, into the hot water and just kind of swirl that around just to make sure that I have every single um, liquid. And I'm just diluting that into the bathtub and swirling that around. And now I'm just going to go get the hair and just put that in there. So the thing about washing your bundles or your units is that you don't want to tug on them you don't want to um you know pull it too hard you kind of just want to swirl it around gently to start with what am i doing <laughs> and also if it's a um 360 unit or um a 360 front so what you want to do is you want to turn the hair inside out and that's the dye and the dirt coming out i'm not that dirty guys i dyed the hair black jet black so that's probably the dye <laughs> But yeah, you want to also use this method, which is pretty much just pushing the hair. I'm going to show you guys um more towards the end of the video. But yeah, I'm trying to just get the lace clean. And to do that, I just kind of just tap the hair like that into the water. Just so the water could go through the holes of the frontal. I don't really know how to explain this talking. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of swirling the hair around. You know getting every single strand in there and also just kind of pushing the hair down like that just so the um the water and the soap and everything could just go through the lace and through the hair without rubbing or scrubbing or anything like that because that's gonna damage the hair it looks so weird in there look at that it looks mad scary but yeah you want to leave that in there for about 15 minutes just so all the products that you mixed in could do its thing. Yo, that looks so scary, guys. But it looks pretty, though. The bottom looks pretty. The frontal looks really scary. <laughs> but, yeah, you want to leave that in there and just drain out that water. And then 
get you some nice clean water to rinse the hair and again make sure it's nice and hot you know the hot that you shower with nothing crazy so yeah after I'm um, washing that or soaking that in the mixture I'm gonna dip that into the clean water to rinse it out the first time that's what I'm doing right now and again you don't want to pull in the hair you just kind of want to leave it in the water to just do its thing this is a really simple method and it also extends the life of your unit or your wig so yeah again you want to push the hair in like that just so the water could go through the holes of the lace and through the strands of the hair and you want to just leave that in there without doing nothing too crazy see how clean that is but yeah I'm gonna go back in with conditioner just so um, detangling is easier for me even though I added conditioner before you can never have too much conditioner I'm just gonna leave that in there with the conditioner for about 12 minutes I'm gonna come back to check on it to see how it's doing so yeah after 12 minutes you guys see how nice and straight that looks effortlessly and the frontal looks good as well all that lace glue and foundation that I put on it was uh, gone so yeah and you want to just wring that out gently without squeezing too much I'm just kind of trying to wring it out without really doing too much I'm not using a towel on it or nothing like that but afterwards you want to just comb that out from the bottom up guys again you see how I started from the bottom you want to start from the bottom always and make your way to the middle then to the top carefully and you want to use a wide tooth comb for straight hair and with curly hair you want to use your fingers or um, like a Denman brush but for straight hair wide tooth comb like that one so yeah I'm pretty much just combing out all the um strands and all the tangles from the hair and after that you want to just rinse it out again and leave it to dry on a mannequin head air dry so yeah there I am just getting the top part because when you put on a mannequin head you can clearly see um more easily what strands need to be combed out and where you have tangles at the top so yeah I'm just going back in with that and I'm just showing you guys um how much hair I lost from all that combing that's literally it but while I was washing the hair I did have some more strands come out I'm going to show you guys that soon so yeah that's the hair just hung on the mannequin head just leaving that to air dry nothing crazy no dryer no heat but yeah back to the strands and pretty much that's the strands that I got gathered all together I'm just going to show you guys what all the strands were so after I washed the hair and everything that's all the strands that I got that's literally nothing y'all but yeah that's pretty much it for how to wash this hair and after it air dries and straightened this is pretty much what it looks like and yeah it smells so good it feels so soft and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you apply this when you're washing your units or your bundles and yeah please like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one